Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to review number 38 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. This is a nice problem because it's going to introduce some ideas with uh, working with expressions and evaluating different algebraic expressions. So let's take a look at number 38. Use this to review some of that nuts and bolts math calculations that you're going to see in every single elementary math teacher certification exam. I'll read it over and then we'll solve it. Which of the following mathematical expressions is equivalent to, and then we have b times h divided by 2. And then we have all these expressions or mathematical expressions. I want to just highlight this uh, expression here. These are actually algebraic expressions. And we think of an algebraic expression because it has a combination of constants, like a 2, and variables. And whenever you see a combination of constants and variables, and these all have a combination of that. We're dealing with algebraic expressions. Now, if I wanted to turn these into algebraic equations, all I would need to do is give it some sort of value at an equal sign. And once you do that, you've, you've, you're showing two expressions equal to one another, and we've created, we've turned that algebraic expression into an equation, an algebraic equation. All right, but. That's not what this problem is about. It's about evaluating and these, uh, algebra, these expressions here. So I have this. Which one does this match up with? Well, I think the easiest way is just to look at this one real quick and pull out the parts. BH divided by um, 2. It's actually the same. This is the same as doing 1 half times the quantity of BH, whatever BH is. Let's think about that. Why is that the case? Well, you're really dividing whatever this B times H is by 2. You're, you're, you're dividing it by 2, and that's the same as taking half of BH. So that's why when we think of BH divided by 2, we could have rewritten it as BH times the quantity of 1 half. And there's an implied multiplication symbol um, in the uh, when these two variables are touching. There's an implied multiplication, meaning that I'm going to take B and multiply it by H. And if we wanted to take it a step further, we could think of it as uh, B times H, and this is really all over 1, and if we were multiplying these fractions out, it would be uh, the numerator, the tops times the tops, and the bottoms times the bottoms, or the denominator times the denominators, and that would get us to you know B, H on the top, and, uh, and 1 on the bottom. So it gets us back to this one right here. But D is the right answer. Now why did I do that? Because I want you to really see this, that when, you, when it's something divided by 2, that's the same as multiplying by 1 half. Um, and there's some things with the reciprocal. You know, dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. There's those things, but also I want you to visually see that these th things say the same thing. Now, let's just look at the other ones real quick. If I were to work these out, multiplying two fractions out, the reason why this one's wrong is even though the, the numerator, the top, would be correct, this would be b times whatever h is, the denominator would be 2 times 2, and that would be 4, and that doesn't match up, so we'd cross that one off. And what about this one here? Well, dividing by 2 isn't the same as multiplying by 2 because this would get you 2bh. So no, that's not right. If I did this one out, adding these two, this would actually look like this. It would be b plus h divided by 2. And that's not the same because this one right here is saying that we're multiplying the b and h. So I crossed that one off. We already said that d is the answer because when you're, when you're doing bh divided by 2, that's the same as doing bh times 1 half, and that's what this one says here. The, uh, the, recipro the opposite of, I mean, dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal 1 half. 
And then we have E, which is not the answer, but that would get you 2BH. Uh, okay? All right, team, I, I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you, you're able to use some of this work with uh, thinking about expressions and how to work with expressions, and definitely how to view dividing by 2 or multiplying by a half and see that those both are the same thing. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Use these videos to help review some of those core math concepts that you're going to see on your elementary math teacher certification exams. And stay tuned because the future videos are going to do middle school and high school math, math concepts as well as concepts in history, science, and English for other teacher certification exams. Okay, team. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.